Welcome to Cundle Manor, the school where I spent two very happy years on and off as a teacher, teaching everything from biology, French, Latin, Greek, history, cricket, rugby, would you believe? It's a beautiful place, situated in the Vale of York, somewhere between Ripon and Thirsk. And it's now a fully co-educational school catering for children aged between two and a half and 16. Much has changed in the last 20 years. Continual improvements are being made to keep abreast of changing needs and increasing, I'm glad to say, numbers. The school boasts well-equipped classrooms, science laboratories, a 20-metre indoor heated swimming pool, uh, a well-furnished IT centre, a nine-hole golf course, skateboard park for goodness sake, numerous rugby, football and hockey pitches, as well as cricket nets and our famous teepees. With extensive grounds and superb facilities, sport plays an integral part in the life of Cundle Manor. Every child participates in a physical activity on a daily basis and will represent the school in a fixture each term. This inclusive approach ensures that all children, regardless of ability, benefit from participating in sport. With up to 10 teams across the age groups in traditional sports, such as rugby, football and cricket for boys, and hockey, netball and rounders for girls. There are weekly swimming lessons from the age of four and a diverse range of additional sports such as tennis, horse riding and fencing. Skills are nurtured and developed at all levels and ages and each year a number of our most able pupils represent the school at district, county and even national level in their chosen sport. We offer a scholarship scheme too to support and develop talented young sportsmen and women within the school. Now throughout the nursery and pre-prep department, the emphasis is on the all-round development of the person through class, group and individual teaching in an atmosphere of happiness and mutual respect. We aim to promote independence, confidence, self-esteem, mutual respect and a strong work ethos in each child and provide a safe, caring environment where all children feel happy, secure and valued as individuals. In our early years in main school, literacy and numeracy are the main focus. We cannot stress enough the importance of these core skills. These, coupled with an exciting range of other subjects, enable all our pupils, whatever their abilities, to enjoy their learning. Proficiency in languages is recognised as being a valuable tool in today's society and pupils are offered French and either Spanish or Latin. Language visits to France and Spain are central to a pupil's progress throughout the school. It's recognised that pupils develop confident language skills when exposed to learning early, which is why our language lessons commence in reception classes. Pupils enjoy their science lessons and these are taught by specialist teachers in our laboratories. Alongside our academic expectations and specialist GCSE teaching, the pupils in the upper school are challenged to acquire new skills and to participate in a wide range of adventurous activities. Life in upper school is always busy, but in our happy, caring environment, our pupils are prepared for their future and given the confidence to fulfill their potential. The day begins with registration at 8.30 a.m. and normally ends at 5 p.m. with the possibility of pupils remaining in school until 6 p.m. for supervised prep, if they wish to do so. Upper School aims to build on the strong tradition of sport as an integral part of the curriculum and whilst maintaining the traditional sports, extending the provision to suit the interests and abilities of the older pupils. Alongside rugby, cricket, rounders, hockey and tennis, we can include such sports as basketball, volleyball, orienteering and squash. The high standard of sport is evident in the numbers chosen to play at area and county level and in the participation of our pupils at local club level. Outdoor pursuits are a very important feature of life in upper school. These activities provide numerous opportunities for our children to develop their individual skills, to find out about themselves, to develop trust, friendship, teamwork, and most importantly, independence. Every Wednesday afternoon is devoted fully to a wide range of activities. In addition, optional trips are arranged on weekends throughout the year. 
Pupils will have been introduced to a number of the activities lower down the school. It's our aim in upper school to enable them to obtain qualifications in these pursuits, qualifications that will be with them for life. These include the British Canoe Union Star Awards, the Royal Yachting Association Sailing Awards, the Professional Association of Diving Instructors Paddy Open Water Diving Award, and the recently piloted Indoor Climbing Awards. The programme has recently been enhanced with the opportunity to go caving and water skiing, as well as clay pigeon shooting. There is no expectation in regard to level attained in any of these activities. All that is requested is a willingness to have a go, with many pupils surprising themselves at what they've achieved. Music is an important part of school life. All pupils receive weekly music lessons as part of the curriculum, and 80% of pupils play a musical instrument and receive weekly lessons from one of our 12 visiting instrumentalizing teachers. There are two choirs, a string orchestra, a brass group, a woodwind choir, a percussion ensemble, and three rock bands which all rehearse weekly. All pupils are regularly involved in performances which include the main school carol services, house singing competition, various concerts and full-scale musical productions. The house system at Cundall remains incredibly strong with house competitions running throughout each term. Every child in the school from nursery to year 11 is a member of one of the four houses. Normans, Saxons, Stuarts and Tudors. I was an assistant housemaster of the Stuarts, as it happens. We came second in the House Cup my year. It's one of the great disappointments of my life. Families remain in the same house throughout their time at the school, and even the children of old boys and girls follow in their parents' footsteps. Being a weekly boarder at Cundall gives children the best of both worlds, the opportunity to experience real independence and to develop their own individuality while still returning to spend the weekend with their family. Boarders are woken by matron at around 7.30 and have breakfast at 8 o'clock. Every day, pupils have a wide range of cereals to choose from, in addition to the chef Malcolm's legendary cooked breakfast. After a quick return to the dormitory to tidy up and brush their teeth, boarders then head to their form rooms to prepare for the school day. In the evening, after prep and supper, boarders take part in various activities depending on the time of year and the weather. Activities usually offered are swimming, indoor hockey, golf, cricket, rounders, or just playing with friends in the wonderful grounds that surround the school. After cocoa and toast at around 8.15, boarders can relax in the common room until bedtime, which is between 8.45 and 9.30, depending on age. The years that your child will spend at Cundall Manor will be the most formative of his or her life. They will be able to develop in a caring and stimulating environment, showing all the responsibility and independence that they need to, yet within the support of a very family atmosphere. The excellent pupil ratio allows attention to each child, giving them the support they need that allows them to realize their full potential. It's a wonderful place. I was very happy there. It's in one of the most beautiful parts of the world I have ever visited. Every time I'm in Yorkshire, I want to go and revisit Cundall. It's a, a very magical place. And the care and the attention that the children there receive is second to none. It allows them to develop and to prosper as themselves, unique individuals, and forging friendships, alliances, understanding how to treat other people. And it also allows them academically and physically to realize their full potential. It's a wonderful opportunity in a marvelous school.